Hello everyone, and thanks for watching. Today we're going to be checking out the Shenango Valley Mall in Hermitage, PA. This mall was built in 1968 by George McConnell and has changed ownership many of times throughout the years. Now this mall is a really cool mall and um, one I really like a lot because it actually has like a hidden 60s swing and it's like a very original and it would show like what the mall used to look like and I think that's really cool and I actually filmed this mall about a year ago and I decided to come back and redo it because I have a new style of doing my videos in my malls and uh, I just think this mall deserves a better video so join me as we walk around and uh, I'll give you some of the history and a few other of the cool stuff about the mall and enjoy the tour so this right here is where the Sears used to be. When the mall opened in 1968, there were three original anchors, J.C. Penny, Sears, and W.T. Grant. Shenango Valley Mall is actually in a very busy area. It's like basically right in the center of Hermitage, but for some reason, it just doesn't do well. In January of 2017, the Shenango Valley Mall took a major hit when both Macy's and Sears announced that their stores were closing. The mall would be losing two of its three anchor stores at the same time. On March 26, both stores closed for good. Recently, in 2019, the mall was basically foreclosed upon and it was transferred ownership to um, the 23 people of the McConnell family that owned the property around the mall. So for a short time, they actually owned the mall and the property in 2019. But then in August, it was sold off to another corporation. And that corporation is promising to bring restaurants and all kinds of nice stuff to the mall. But I haven't seen nothing change and it's been about six months. So we'll have to see in the future, but as of now, the mall still looks very, very dead. So right here is the only anchor open left at the mall. And uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna stay open much longer either because when you walk through the store, it looks pretty rough too. I noticed uh, one of the escalators was broke and um, you actually have, once you get upstairs, you have to take the elevator back down because the down escalator doesn't work. So, definitely not looking good on JC Penney's part. But uh, moving along down the hall, straight ahead is where the WT Grant was. And they have it all windowed up now, but you can definitely see that that was an anchor there. This was a cool looking store. I'm not sure what it was. So, uh, off to the side there is a little LA Nails and Spa and a Walmart store. There's the old Rue 21, um, we'll continue on down here. So um, up here, I'm gonna be showing you guys the like hidden 60s and 70s wing of the mall. And uh, another thing that a lot of people don't know is there's actually another wing that's unaccessible, but it was used for like a BMV or a DMV in like the 70s and 80s, and they boarded that up. And um, I'm pretty sure that's down on like the WT Grant side. So the mall was remodeled in 1997, and that's when this wing up here coming up was blocked off. They uh, originally had it completely blocked off, and then a few years later, I think around like 2001 or so, they decided to open it back up, and that's where like the restrooms and stuff are. And for a while, there was a karate studio back here. But uh, it also closed too. So join me as we take a step back in time and uh, enjoy the music. And uh, I'm gonna end off here. So uh, please leave a like, share, and subscribe after you watch this Hidden 60s part. And uh, thank you all for watching. <laughs>